All right, all right, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, we do Krita backgrounds because I got a request for that. Um, so backgrounds in Krita, they're a little bit easier to create, I'd say, because uh, Krita is more centered about uh, around like simple drawings. And by simple, I mean not animations and all that. It's got an animation system, but it's it's not really that great because you can't really reuse your stuff if you don't copy paste your frames and just move them around, which is kind of painstaking and takes kind of a long time to do. Instead, with Krita, you can just make drawings, and for that, you can also make backgrounds for FNF songs. Uh, better than you can do in Adobe because in Adobe you animate you can also draw I mean I, I did that in my previous tutorial but it's much easier to do in a software specifically made for drawing and only drawing because Krita has a lot of tools that can help you if you're doing something more complicated and uh, let's do new file we want to make it no 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 one of those Let's say I think it's two like that and one four four one four oh okay uh, let me just save this actually save image size as background oh should be there yeah it's there okay uh great good now you got this you don't need anything that's down here you just need to draw uh we're actually not gonna be drawing on the background we're gonna we're actually gonna delete this layer let's just what was it delete layer I haven't worked in Creta in a while where was it Re oh it right it's remove layer sorry uh what do we have oh dear goodness it doesn't have light smoothing i totally forgot it doesn't have any light smoothing so if you want to make something out of this you gotta be a little more careful for instance let's just make uh um, Let's make uh, let's make a simple background. Let's make a stage or something. Uh, we make a hill. Uh, we. Oh, what's great about Krita? You don't need to draw the lines around here, like on the uh, on the edges. You can just like making a rectangle out of this whole thing, just drawing the margins to fill in. Because you can hold on. This is green, right? I hope it's green. Yeah, it's green. You can just fill it like this. It, you don't need to do anything else. Right. There we go, we got that green. Let's make another layer. And let's get it down here. Take your blue, like this I'd say. Just fill the whole thing. Um. And then maybe just a little artistic touch, you can draw some clouds. Uh, to make them a little more far away, you can use this blue maybe, like make their outline like this. Let's just, uh, I guess it works. And just fill them, maybe not this color specific, oh what, sorry what, sorry what, okay hold on, let me just make another layer for them, uh, let's just draw some clapped puddles and all that, oh, uh, I think this one's not gonna fill, let's try it out, oh it does, yeah, that works. And now, in order to export, you can either export it as a single image, or if you want it to have the whole scroll thing, you want to export the sky first, let's say. So like this. We go File, uh, Export. I'm pretty sure... Why does it export here? Oh, it's because the last thing I exported was GFS, SPNG, whatever. Um, I'm just going to export it in my desktop because I'm too lazy. Um, we gonna export it as a PNG, and let's say we export it as blue sky. All right. 
hit OK with that. Good. Now, you want to do the clouds? You just do the clouds. Export of clouds. What's good about Krita is that it's much easier to export stuff with a transparent background. You can do that in Adobe too, but it's a little bit more tedious, dare I say. And green grass. There we go. Hit OK. Um, I'm going to save this just for the sake of it. I'm pretty sure that if I go here, here. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, I'll finish creative files, whatever. BG thing. Save. You can close this. You have everything you should. They're right here. Let me just make a folder for them so we can be a little more organized. Ooh, BG. Boop, boop, boop. Move these here. And there you have them. Uh, you want to take these, right? Copy, uh, I think in characters here, yeah. Uh, images, yeah, images here. You just plop them here. Good. Now let's go to stages, take example stage. Why did I just say like that? Copy it, make a folder for it. Just a new folder, boom, name it to Bob, because it kind of looks like Bob's background, except Bob's looks better. Okay, so now you go through the same exact thing that I used to do. You just do that. Okay, <clears throat> make Lua sprite. God, I forgot how to make stages. Dear goodness, I haven't worked in this for so long. Why did I not work at all? Let's just take this code and modify it. <laughs> That's what we're doing now, aren't we? Oh, uh, boop. Boop. All right, so BG, we call background blue sky. We're gonna keep the same chords just for, okay. Uh, infinite floor. Infinite floor is gonna be what, what was it? Green grass. And we're also gonna make another one. Just take all that, paste it here. Um, how do we call these? Cotton candy, and also cotton candy. Call cotton candy, we call them clouds. That's what we named them, right? Is that what we named them? Uh, images, clouds, yeah. All right, <clears throat> that should do it. Remember to save, you can close that, and you should have it in stages there. Now you open Psych Engine. Uh, I've heard that there was a little something on April 1st, where everything you would do it would just turn it to blammed. I hope it's not the case here. Oh, oh by the way, I just kind of changed this enter screen from my previous tutorial. I just plopped this down a little down so, so it would be visible. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Free play. Oh, uh, by the way, this has nothing to do with the April Fool's up with the April Fool's update. We can you use orange stage, maybe not. Nah. Well, ah, forget it. We're using orange stage, which is just the normal stage. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, let me just select. <gasps> right. I forgot. I almost forgot. You have to put it in here. There's it should be. You can delete this. You cannot delete this. I'm gonna delete it. Just again to be more organized. All right, we're gonna open second again. 
such an incompetent move on my part. Alright. Ignore the data icons everywhere, I'm gonna change the data icons. Consider this a sneak peek to my mod, if you if you will. There we go, Bob. Let's just not save it yet. I wanna see how it looks like. Oh, it looks cool! I just find the fresh chart to be oddly fun. Uh, what we could do, we could move the clouds a little more down just so you can see. Oh wait, I, I forgot something. I forgot to set the scroll speed and everything. The scroll speed, the just scroll factor. Uh, come on, bro. Though it should be cool because this is like, I just reused the four stage code, right? So cotton candy is point. Yeah, okay, let me just move this a little more down. Um, whoa, sorry, release notes. I don't really care. Let's move them to 200 and no, actually 200. Let's go for 200. Okay. Oh, did I save it? I, I, I saved it, right? Yeah, okay, I saved it. Resume. No, I'm sorry. I really like Pico sprites. They're really smooth and clean. I want to make sprites like that too. Uh, I just had a miss with that. Uh, let me just. They're all 600, 300. Uh, Cotton candy? Let me just set it to zero and zero. What if I set it to zero and zero? One time I set a cat UFO to zero and zero and it just landed on straight on a train and just left the cores like that because it looked cool. The cat UFO is just a cat in battle cats. Still no clouds. Where do clouds, man? Where do clouds? Um, let's say, man, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I literally have no idea. Let's just change it. You get the idea. That's how you just do that. The clouds should be like somewhere around here. Maybe it's not that hard. You get it. Now let's just play fresh. <laughs> Oh, that was embarrassing, I just had a miss. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, well, that's everything you need to know about Krita backgrounds. This is probably my shortest tutorial yet. So for that, I'm gonna make another one. Uh, stay tuned for the one I'm making right now. I mean, after this one, because it's gonna be something that right now, as for what I'm seeing in the community, a lot of people are getting interested in because, you know what, I'm just gonna say this whole thing when I'm doing that tutorial because it's really interesting. Um, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, hope you find this helpful, suggestions and comments, have a great day, bye.